देखते रहिए हमारे साथ मीम टीवी हमको फहाशी और म्यूजिक से पाक गुनाहों से बचाने वाला आपका अपना मीम टीवी मोहम्मद Welcome back to our 13th episode of our meme stream by Youth Memers program. I am your host Muhammad Afan Azmat and in this program we'll be talking about a very famous Islamic event known as the Battle of Badr. So please stay tuned until the end. But before going on any further and starting the program, I would like to introduce my guests. In front of me is Brother Milad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you Brother Milad? Good alhamdulillah. How about you? Good jazakallah khair for asking. And in the middle we have Brother Samir. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you brother Samir? I'm good. How are you brother Afan? Good alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khair for asking. And on the far side we have brother Yusuf. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you brother Yusuf? Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khair for asking. And how about you brother Afan? Good alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khair for asking. So what is the Battle of Badr? Well, the Battle of Badr happened on 17th Ramadan Mubarak in 2nd AH. The name Badr actually comes from a village which is located 80 miles away from Medina. In the pre-Islamic era or the era of ignorance, an annual fair used to be held there, and the owner of that fair, whose name was Badr, hence the entire place was named after him Badr. There's also a, this place also had a great battle fought between the Muslims and disbelievers. Welcome back from our short break. Now I would like to ask Brother Samir to please continue talking about the Battle of Badr. Brother Samir. Thank you, Brother Afan. Although the disbelievers of the Quraysh were intent upon fighting, there were also some soft-hearted and cool-headed people who did not like bloodshed. Among them was Hakim bin Hizam, who embraced Islam later on. He was a very serious and good-natured person. He said to Utbah bin Rabia, the commander-in-chief, "What is the good of shedding blood?" Let me give you a very sincere suggestion. The Quraysh want to take revenge for the murder of Umar bin Al-Hajrami, who was your ally. You just have to pay blood for his murder and a fierce battle will be prevented. As Uthba was a very sensible and soft-hearted person, he gladly accepted the sincere suggestion, but it was also necessary to get approval from Abu Jahl in this matter. Therefore, Hakim bin Hizam went to Abu Jahl and gave him the message of Uthba bin Rabia. He said, "I know it very well that Uthba has lost courage. His son Huzaifa has has accepted Islam and has joined the Islamic army. Uthba has stayed to fight the war so that his son may remain safe. The incident provoked disbelievers into taking revenge. The entire army e- echoed with the slogan, 'An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth.' Each soldier lost temperament and was intent on um, upon fighting the battle. Hence, they all prepared for fighting or for the battle ahead." Thank you for sharing this with us brother uh, Samir. Now I would like to ask brother Yusuf to talk about the final details of this battle. Brother Thank Yusuf. You so at the stay at this time the the holy nabi prayed to Allah to with tears falling from his eyes and 
his hands raised in dua and asked Allah Azza wa Jal, Almighty, fulfill the promise today that you have made to me. He was so occupied and uh, absorbed in this dua that his blessed shawl would fall from his blessed shoulder, but he would remain unaware of it. Sometimes in sajda, he would say, Almighty, if these two people are killed, then there will be no one on earth to worship you on the day of judgment. And so seeing the Holy Nabi in distress and anxiety, uh, Sayyidina Abu Bakr asked the Prophet to please like withdraw from his dua because Allah will definitely accept his dua. So saying, so following what his uh, companion said, he would he withdrew from his dua and then he recited in some ayahs of the Quran. So after that, he made one more dua, and in that dua, he asked Allah Jal to send some angels to fight in the battle of Badr for the Muslims. So at first, there he sent one thousand angels, and then three thousand, and then in the end, there were finally five thousand angels fighting in the battle of Badr. Subhanallah. So when so obviously angels are invisible, so because because they're invisible, so the the disbelievers could not see. Where the, where the angels were present but the effects like the presence was definitely known uh, because the, some disbelievers had like whip marks across their face and some even got their head completely cut off but there was like no sword around them at that time so seeing this the disbelievers got discouraged and they gave up uh, hence the muslims won the first battle in islam the battle of Badr. Jazakallah for sharing this information with us, Brother Yusuf. Indeed, one of the indeed the angel army was one of the first miracles from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and we'll be right back from our short break into our next guessing game round known as Kasati. Jazakallah, Brother Rafan. As we already mentioned, the battle took place between the Muslims and the disbelievers, but the real cause of the battle of Badr was the killing of Amr bin Al Hadrami, which made the disbelievers of the Quraysh extremely angry. They shouted out slogans like an eye for an eye or a tooth for a tooth. With the addition of this, there, were, there was also an immediate, uh, immediate cause of battle. The Holy Prophet وسلم, chased the caravan of the Quraysh to as far to a, as far as a place known as Zuna Aisha, but they could not catch the caravan. Word later spread that the caravan was returning to Mecca from Syria with 30 to 40 men, including Abu Sufyan Mukhayrama bin Naufil from and Imam bin Al As, many more. The caravan contained training goods of the disbelievers of the Quraysh. This is what was being used by the disbelievers to get supplies for the war by trading these goods for for the said items and to aid them in the war. After the Muslims found out about this information, they robbed the caravan of all its trading goods to stop the disbelievers from getting any further supplies for the war. Jazakallah khair for sharing this information with us, Brother Milad. But before we go on to our short break, I remember a bit more about what Brother Milad was just talking about. So when this devastating ruse reaches Mecca, all the disbelievers of Mecca became extremely anxious and upset. All the tribes of Quraysh came out of their homes. All the tribal chiefs who were heavily armed came out of their homes upset and anxious and then they departed. As the incident of Nakala in which Amir bin Adharami was killed and his caravan was looted by the Muslims had recently taken place, all the disbelievers had lost temperament were intent upon taking revenge. There was an army of about 1,000 troops and each of their soldiers was heavily armed with weapons. There were special arrangements made to feed this huge army. The rich among the Quraysh, namely Abbas bin, Abbas bin Abdul Muttalib, Utbay bin Rabi, Haris bin Amir, Nadir bin Al Haris, Abu Jahl, Umar, and many more had 10 camels slaughtered every day and in turn to feed this entire army. Utbay bin Rabi, who was the richest person amongst the Quraysh, was the leader of this entire army. And we'll be right back from our short break. So what is the Battle of Badr? Well, the Battle of Badr happened on 17th of Ramadan al-Mubarak, 2nd AH. The name Badr actually comes from a village which is, which is about 80 miles away from Medina. In the pre-Islamic era or the era of ignorance, an annual fair used to be held there, which was named after the owners of the fair whose name was Badr. It was a place where a great battle between Muslims and disbelievers took place. Muslims were blessed with a great and glorious victory enhancing the prestige of Islam and the disbelievers were defeated. In Surah Anfal, it has been mentioned in detail and has also been mentioned in other surahs throughout the Quran. 
The clear victory of Muslims in this battle was indeed a divine favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, Brother Fan, you're saying that um, you're talking about who the battle was between. I have more details on this matter. Okay, go ahead and share with them, Milad. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik Dekhte rahiye, humare saath, Meme TV Anjibata alano Durudu dua Dar se qur'anu zikri Rasoolu khuda Ahli baytu sahaba Kabi tazkira Teen haq ka sikhana Salamat rahe Deen haq ka sikhana Salamat rahe Meem ka aisa jazba Salamat rahe Meem ka aisa jazba Salamat rahe देखते रहिए आपका अपना मीम टीवी मस्जिद अक्सा पिछले कई सालों से कम्युनिटी की खिदमत करती है जिसमें पांच वक्त का नमाजों का इनका जुमे की नमाजों के लिए तीन तीन जमातों का इंतजाम और उसके अलावा रमजान मुबारक में तरावी का इंतजाम और इफ्तारियों का सिलसिला वीकली इस्लामिक स्कूल जिसके जरिए 150 बच्चे तालीम हासिल करते हैं आप ही के दिए हुए चंदे आप ही के ताऊन से चलते हैं लॉकडाउन के पेश नजर अखराजात में इनके रेंट में आपके बरपूर ताऊन की जरूरत है। I did my part, did you? Alhamdulillah, I did my part. Did you do yours? अब आप की बारी। Cash, check. या वीजा या डेबिट के जरिए अपनी पेमेंट देना चाहें वो इनशाला तो बारह कुताला स्क्रीन पर मौजूद डिटेल के जरिए अपना घर बैठे इसे डाल सकते हैं। Welcome back from our short break. Now we're into our Kasati round. In this round, I'll be thinking of an Islamically famous person, historically a religious place, or a holy book, and our guest here will ask questions to guess it. Today, I have thought of a famous place. You may start guessing now, and viewers at home, you may guess along with us too. I think we should ask, ask if this uh, place is used for Islamic purposes. Yeah. Uh, is this place used for Islamic purposes? No, it's not used for Islamic purposes. Yes, it does. It does have relevance. Yes. Okay, so then, do you think um, you should just have to be prophets in this place? Yeah, like. Yeah. Yeah. So, has there been prophets in this place before? Yes, there has been prophets in this place. Okay. Well, then, the next question uh, should be. Um. Oh yeah, I think uh, I think it was like one battle, mm -hmm. so because it was today's subject. Uh, was there a battle fought here? Yes, there was a battle fought here. Okay, so then because of battle, then uh, it should also be it should be somewhere be like the yeah. Is yeah. yeah. Is this place located in Europe? No, it's not located in the continent of Europe. <sighs> okay, so then if it's not Europe, it has to be in Asia because it's pretty much. Yeah. It's pretty good. Is this place located in Asia? Yes, it is located in Asia. Okay. Mm. So, if it's Asia, then... I think, it, I think it should be like in an Islamic country, so... Yeah, yeah. Um, is it located in Saudi Arabia? Um, yes, it is located in Saudi Arabia. Okay, so I think it's pretty sure how it has to be. I think because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a celebration, I think? Okay. Does this place have a festival? Yes, it does. Okay, so then... I think... That should be, is this like place close to like Medina or something? Cause yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this place located near Medina? Yes, it is located close to Medina. So then, if it's close yeah. to Medina, then I see Badr. Yeah, yeah. So, there, I was thinking of it, but 
Yeah, I think it was. It should be butter. Because it was the word that yeah. was Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, is this place? Um, are you thinking of butter? Yes, indeed. The place I'm thinking of is butter. Great job, guys and viewers at home. Hopefully, you guess along with us too. But before I go and end off the program, I would like to share a few facts about butter. It was the first major military victory led by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that was marked uh, that was marked a turning point for the early Muslim community for a defensive stance towards one of the stability and expansion. At the end, I will request if you or anyone in your family or your circle wants to participate in our youth memories program, please call us at 647-740-9292 or email us at info at Until then, we will look forward for your feedback. Stay safe. Remember us in your prayers. Allah Hafiz wa Nasir with this dua. May Allah Azza wa bless all the shuhada of Battle of Karbala and make us follow their footsteps and sacrifices from Islam. Amen. Alhamdulillah, Munshil Khalqi Min Adam, Thum Salatu Al Al Mukhtari Fil Qidam, Maula Ya Sal Li Wa Sallim, Daim Al Abad, Ala Habibi Ka Khair Al Khalqi Kullihim, Amin Tadakuri Jira Nim. بذي سلام ما زجت دمع جرام مقلة بدم مولاي صلي وسلم دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم أم هبت الريح من تلقاء كعيمة وأو ما ض البرق في الماء من إيوام مولا يا صلي وسلم دائما أبدا على حبيبك اللهم صلي وسلم وبارك دكت رئيه همارة ساتر ميم تي في اللهم صلي على سيدنا محمد اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد